Hi everyone, it's Melissa from Melissa and Will at Happy Crafting. And we're on to part two of our little brochure journal. So we're just gonna continue on today and see how far we get. So I did find a piece of fabric that I wanna use for the closure. So let's get it up here. So I've got this sweet little fabric here green matches nicely but I don't think I want it to go underneath this piece here I think I want it to come over top so like that just because um, the back cover I've already put it on so I can't go underneath so it's gonna be over top of there so I want it the same on the other side so First thing that we're gonna do, I'm just gonna tuck that away so I know where it is. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these two pieces on and then they're done and we shall go from there. So that's what we're gonna do. A little glue book, glue stick. I'm just gonna stick this on. I was looking through my prototype and there's a couple of little changes that I do want to make with that. So some of the pockets I'm going to do full pockets instead of the little partial pockets. I'm going to move the tucks around and stuff and be along the same idea as the other as this other one but a little bit different as all projects are a little bit different. All right, Put this one on. Just keeping an eye on my dog and my cat. My cat likes to bug the dog by playing in her food, and she, as a lab, doesn't like that at all. So, just keep an eye. Multitask, multitask. All right. So, got that done. Actually, no, no, this it. So what I want to do is I do want to cover the seams. Maybe I'll keep this one till later because I think I might do fabric here. I'm not sure yet. But these ones, I'm going to cover these seams with some washi tape. So let me see. Just some old, whatever you don't like to use is what I use. The stuff that I don't use very often because I have more washi tape than God, I'm pretty sure. But, um, yeah, just using up the stuff that we don't like because you're mostly not going to see it anyway. So, I just leave little tags just a little bit further than the edge so that, and I can just trim that off. Now, we all know that washi tape does not stick very well. So, I'm just going to add a bit of glue stick just so that it adheres better. that down. Now if you get any wrinkles in it, you can pick it up and fix it. Get that one there. Now we're going to set this. Well, that was a good cut job, wasn't it? Now 
There we go. That's better. Okay. Now, I think I want the butterflies over there. Or maybe... Also, when you leave a little tag, you don't have that little frayed bit from trying to get it off the roll. everything that would be great. Hi Kiki. It's my other cat. A tiny little Maine Coon. Don't let that fool you. She has attitude to make up for the tininess. But well, she's very pretty. At least that's what we tell her. She is very pretty. Very pretty. Go. <laughs> yes, you can sneak by me. As soon as I find the end to this, that would be great. Oh, there it is. Urgh. Now, I've heard you can put washi tape in the microwave for 10 seconds or something to help the glue soften so it's easier, but I am a chicken. Because I think that if I personally were to do that, it might blow up my kitchen. And if you knew me at all, you would know that that's just my luck. And I just stuck that down with a gluing. See what happens when you're not paying attention. I'm having trouble cutting it straight. There we go. Probably because my scissors are four times larger than they need to be. But here we go. Here we go. Okay. Now we'll do the back. done it with all the same washi tape I suppose but where's the fun in that really mm -hmm. 
So what are you guys working on? Let me know in the comments below what it is you're working on. If you're crafting along with me, that would be fantastic and exciting and I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear from you and know that you're crafting along with me. That would be amazing. Absolutely amazing, I think. Oof. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna patch this bobo up. Cause it just made it worse. That's good. That's good. Nope, we're gonna go with the bobo because distress ink will make that not noticeable. I think. I think. We will see. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. And we figure it out how to make it pretty. This one. There. Or do I want the butterflies? Let's go with the butterfly. Yeah, let's go with the butterflies. And maybe... Have you there and no, I don't want that there. Okay. No, that way. Okay. Now that we've figured it out. Folks, we are getting there. Sorry if this is super boring, but part of the process. And I just wanted for my first craft with me slash tutorial video, I just wanted to do most things on camera. To show how how I do things. Yeah, that's gonna work. And last one for now. Yeah, because I think I'm gonna put I might put I know I'm gonna put lace on the outside. But I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I might put either lace or a bit of fabric there too. I just haven't haven't decided yet. But we'll see once we get there to that point. All right, last one for now. that will stay on with the glitter. So that goes like that. And like that. So. I'm just gonna burnish all of the seams just to make sure that the 
wash and stays on. We have a base. Except apparently I can't glue very well. Inside the front pocket. So what I want to do here is I want to do instead of just a little pocket here. Um, I think I don't know if you can see that I might be out of frame, but instead of just the little pocket with the little booklet inside, I think I want to do a full length pocket. I think I do now. Thinking this might be kind of pretty. And then when it's all folded up, then it's beside that. So I think, yeah, I think we're going to do that. So let me do a little, little mark here, maybe if I'm lucky. No. Too much glitter. <laughs> said no one ever. Okay. Ooh, that'll make a nice pocket on the other side, maybe. Now, I do want to cut out a notch in the middle. There we go. Now I don't think I'm gonna ink. I don't think I'm gonna ink it just because it's so sparkly and pretty on its own. So I don't think I'm gonna ink that. I can always ink it at the end if I want, but I think, yeah. I can ink it later if I want to, but right now I don't want to. So there's that. So I'm just going around the three sides. Not very well, but it's on there. It's on there. Now that I can use my art glitter glue freely again, I had ordered, this is my very, very first bottle of art glitter glue. I never had it before because it was so expensive, but it broke down one day and finally said, okay, I'll buy just a little one, see how I like it. Well, as you can probably guess, like everyone else who's ever used art glitter glue, um, it's fantastic. I love it. So I ordered the big bottle and I understand that there's no like next day shipping or two day shipping with Amazon anymore. I get that and I understand why. Um, so that it takes, it takes longer to get here and that's fine, but they delivered it next door to me, which is a funeral home. So, and they didn't tell me right away that they had it. They sort of left a note in my mailbox a few weeks later saying, um, we have a package for you. You want to come get it? So I did. 
I moved the camera. I'm really sorry. I just want to check the frame. You were right. Okay. Um, so yeah, went over, got it. And now FedEx has decided to change us up. So anytime they get a delivery, it's delivered to me. And my stuff is delivered. No, that's too close. It is delivered to them. Super fun. All right. I think I wanted that back here as a tiny little pocket and then I'm going to do a tablet and I'll attach it at the top so that it can just tuck in there out of the way. It'll still be attached but tucked in here neatly and I think I might gusset this pocket. Um, let's see what we've got here. Of course that'll do. That'll do. So let's, let's just do that. Let's do that. Stop talking about it and let's do it. Shall we? Shall we? So. And I'll do two of them. We might do it later, actually, because I think my Fabri-Tac is upstairs, and it is, so we'll do that after, because I found that the glitter glue doesn't work as well as I'd like with fabric, so we'll tuck this one away for, for the next video, and we'll do the back, do that next time. So now. So I've got a pocket there and right. So I want to do here, I want to do a Rita Donnelly flip and possibly a Hermelinda tag for inside. Um, those are the people that we think um, it's their original ideas. So I will give credit when I can and when I know that I'm giving credit to the right person. Um, like this brochure idea isn't mine, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure they've been done and it's been done lots of times before. This is just my take on it. Yeah, I kind of like that there. I really like that there actually. Let's just do that. Let's just get that down. have like a paper towel or something but I don't care now I'm sorry I think yes I am gonna just cut a tiny bit off of that corner just a little snip there then it will close properly there we go and then what was I doing I do. What do I want to do here that's not going to cover that up? I'm not sure. So, why don't we work on uh, her Melinda tag for here? Let's see what we can come up with. Why not? big do we want it across? Let's see. Um, let's go with three inches. 
by eight and a half, so seven and a half would be fit this high. Let's do that. So three by seven and a half. Now I'm going to all my scraps are on top of my scoreboard. Of course they are. Where else would I put them? Not in the basket full of scraps right beside. No. So where have we got seven and a half? It's here. So this is, I'm going to cut off here. Oh, for goodness sake. Just cut it. Just cut it. Just cut it. three inches right so that'll work out it's not quite nine inches across it's like eight and three quarters but I can fold that on the inside so let's let's go with that and see so I'm just scoring at three and it's six So this is the short side, so I'm going to fold it in first. Give it a good burnish so it'll lie flat. And then, oh yeah, see there's only a tiny, tiny little bit that's missing. Well, a quarter of an inch, so it's not very much. And it looks, it looks nice tucked in there, yeah? Yeah, and I think I will, I am going to ink this too. So, we shall do that momentarily as soon as I find my sponge, which is way back there. Sorry about my head, sorry. So, I'm just going to cut the corners. And I cheat. I know you can just cut off a corner and then flip it to the other side, but maybe I should do that. They might be a little evener. Is that a word, evener? Oh. But if I can actually get them lined up correctly, that work. This works pretty good too. Over there and I know I have a hole punch right there okay. so punch a little hole there Ish. now when we're doing the decorating um, I'll put an image on there or something and make it pretty uh, but I don't know what I want to put on there yet. So so yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Always do. Sorry about making you watch me ink. I know it's super exciting. Inking. When I'm watching other people's videos, I do actually enjoy watching them ink. I find it very relaxing. Inking and collaging. Love watching collage videos. I watch Gail's Scrappy Saturdays all the time. I think Gail was one of the first um, journal crafters that I ever watched and she blew my mind away. Still does, I still watch her every day almost. Um, I just love her. 
Kale, if you ever watch my videos. Hi, I love you so much. Okay, that's my fangirl moment. I won't have any more today. Maybe. I can't promise. I'm sorry. Oh, all you crafters. I love you all. Love you all. Um, I've learned so much watching you all. I just... You all blow my mind every day. Okay. So, I mean, when we're in the decorating phase, I'll put a, I'll put a little... Um, probably a little piece of ribbon up here as well and a little image, maybe a word or something. I don't know. I don't know. Are you going to fit in there properly and still close? Let's see. Oh, we're good. We're good. All right. Okay. Oh, goodness. That might be no, this way. That. Okay, good. It's not curling up anymore. So. Now, I'm going to do some kind of a pocket here. You know what I might do? Hmm. Move this out of the way. I know I have a second page of this. So, let's see. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Maybe I moved them already. I don't know. Hmm. Let me think about that one. Okay. So, what do we got for the... Okay, we're gonna put a little pocket here and our gusset pocket, and then we're gonna do a tuck for up here. Oh. All right. So let's. This is for our gusset pocket. We're gonna do a tuck here. So tablet, tuck. Let's do a pocket. Let's, let's do a pocket here. Let's do a pocket here. Okay. All right. Let's go with three inches. We can always trim later if we want to and how big across let's do three let's do three just for fun I know it's not crooked, but it looks crooked, and I don't know why. I don't know. A little hole punch there. Now I am going to ink around here just to make it stand out a bit more. Yes, it does. Let's go with that, shall we? Put my pin by 
back in. I don't know if you can hear, but Will's playing guitar upstairs. So if you're hearing stuff, that's what it is. Or my dog chewing things, there's that too. Why does that look crooked? I think it's the sparkle. Sparkles make it look crooked. Or it could just be crooked. I don't know. We we'll make it pretty. That'll work there. So now I want to do a tag for here. So yeah, I like that. So let's go with two and a half by seven. Maybe. Maybe. Let's try that, see how it works. Seven. Yeah, that'll work nice. Hi, boop. This one I am gonna flip, just <laughs> maybe. How did you go? Okay, not gonna flip it because I just lost it. So, okay, here we go. Okay. No, I don't want to hold it. Oh, hi, Kiki. Have you come to help me? Thank you so much. Your help is greatly appreciated. All right, let's grab my little bag of scraps here. And we'll see what we want to put. Ooh, what is that? As I fray the bejeepers out of it. Yes. So I do want to put a hole in it because I want to tie that up through. I so hope y'all didn't hear that. My dog is sitting beside me making noise from areas. And it was loud and now she's trying to find it. And now the cat's looking for it too. It's awfully nice of him. Oof, that's pretty. That is pretty. Not you! Kitty cat's pretty? She is, yes. I'm Ed's. You tell where you're pretty. Tell her. Alright. There. That's pretty. Super pretty. Not you! You are not pretty. Well, you are pretty. Oh, perfect. And go to the bottom. Yay. That looks lovely there. Love it. Now are we going to close? Okay. Oh, yeah. We're good. We're good. All right. Okay. in this pile. That's too big. We must have something. Ooh, look at you. What about you? Let's see. Come on. What about you? 
what are we? We're on the back here, right? Yeah. No, that is way too big for there. This is way too big for anything here. All right. Fair enough. Maybe. Maybe. Let me see. Where did that other little piece go? Oh, not that one. Nope, nope, nope. I had more of that sparkly green stuff in magically disappeared now. Cat, what are you doing? Stop it. Are you eating flowers? Kiki. Oh, you're such a jerk. Such a jerk. see what's the worst that can happen is that we don't use it kiki you were grating on my last nerve kiki cat get out of it i have the strangest cats of all time they won't go in a box i know what's wrong with them they can't be cats if they won't jump in an empty box But if there are flowers of any kind, and all the flowers I have inside are artificial, because I make centerpieces as well. Someday I might do a video on those, but not yet. Um, so I have flowers out that she likes to take and hide on me. So, good times, good times. Okay, sorry if you couldn't see that or I was out of frame. I just wanna see, if I tuck you up here. Does that look snowflakey? Kind of. But I can put a little flower with some bling on here after. So yeah, I think I think I'm gonna put that up there. Let's see, go with that. And see. So down this way. I'm not putting it all the way around, just sort of around the one side so that we can tuck things up in. I'll stick that there. Okay, now let's grab some of these little scraps that I have lying around. We can tuck. Not there apparently. Oof. And I've glued it down too much. That was smart of me. There. Okay. 
I think I fixed it. Tuck a little new in there. for it, but it will do. That will go in there and what else? What else shall we put in there? Um, it'll be too big. Maybe. Maybe it'll be too big. Always trim. Always trim it. Are you coming to visit? Or are you just coming to do some sketchy stuff? Sketchy? That's what I thought. Okay. I don't know if you can see her because she might still be at a frame, but she's on the table rubbing on my little cart. Okay, there. Maybe like that, maybe? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. And then we can paint them, decorate them however we want later. All right. Tuck you up in there and you like that. And then you still get to see the bird. Uh, the that's that one we were gonna save until next time and decorations and I need to find my elastic for here for the for the removable journal still haven't decided what to do here because I love this image so I don't quite know yet so I've got a pocket here. What if I did like a long tuck here, maybe? Maybe, maybe. What would that look like? Let's see. No, I don't like that. Maybe that. Let's try that. Let's try. I think I'm going to cut a piece off of this side just in case. So I think I'm only going to make it one and a half inches just in case I don't like this one when I cut it out. Because that would be, this would be okay. No, it's still covering up too much. Well, so that won't work. Let's try this one. Um, I'll do an inch and a half, and if I hate it, then I will grab some vellum and work with vellum instead, which is, in all honesty, probably what I'm gonna do. Like that there. Um, no, not even a little bit. So, let me grab some vellum. I'll be right back. Luckily, it's right here. So I don't have to go very far. Talk amongst yourself. Bear with me, please.
now. I'm not sure which one I want to use, but that might be okay. That might be all right. I do have cleaner vellum. go I might go with that I just I just like that better do I do I like it better do I really yes I do okay all right we have a new plan yes another reason I'm thankful for oh, oh crap Sorry. Um, because other glues do not work well at all with vellum. At least I found. All right. When we say an inch and a half, let's go an inch and three quarters because I'm a chicken. Are you even long enough? Are you long enough? Oh, that's just about perfect. Lovely. Okay. So, I'm get rid of that. Punch a little hole, a little thumb hole. Let the art glitter glue work on vellum. My first time trying to adhere vellum since getting the art glitter glue, so I'm hoping that it works. I've heard it works. I'm just hoping. to dry clear. I hope that's true as well. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. So, I think in this pocket I'm going to put... some extra journaling paper. I think I might put some, hmm. I'm not sure. Sorry, it's starting to come up a bit. So maybe let it dry before I start moving things around, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Pin, put the pin back in. Okay. Okay. So we have journal and paper right here. Do I own cardstock in that? That sucks. Mm. All right. Okay. Now, let's see. Will you fit in there? 
just all by yourself? No. Too big. How about you? Also. So I think I'm just gonna take these two, these two sheets. I think these are avocado dyed. Yeah, because they're a little bit pinky, so I think they're avocado dyed. And these are, um, I think I dyed these with green food coloring. So I'll work on those in a second. But let's see how far. So there. Let's go back here. Okay. So. How about we have it level? Okay, that end was crooked anyway. Fixed it. Yay. <laughs> so, we'll tuck those. Tuck you in here. Maybe the only one will fit. I don't know. I mean, they'll loosen up too over time. Are you really not going to fit in there? Oof. All right, so let me just see if I can carefully unstick it in the corner because I glued out too much. So fix that corner and that corner should be fine if I don't wreck it in the meantime. Go. Go in, go in, go in. Yay. Okay, so that one. How about you? Tuck you in there too. Just for fun, why not? A couple pages, never hurt anybody. But I don't think it's gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. Okay. So, I wonder if we stick this one over here. I didn't like that one there. Yeah, let's do this one. Um, fold it first. It's going to have to be trimmed, so. I want to just fold it, but I know that if I do that, I'm going to have to redo it because it won't fit, so. There it is, okay. So, two inches in there. Let's go two and a half. Two and a half, two and a half is five. Like I said in the last video, be careful when you're scoring not to score through the paper. I'm sorry, I have more of that stuff. So, here we go. Okay, Let's try this again. This one's pretty, but anyway. Two and a half. Five. Seven and a half, ten. that little dinky bit down so let it fold 
over and I'll hold it nice and tight now. maybe half an inch. So I think I'm going to call that a video because unless I go and find the rest of the stuff I need, there's nothing more that I can do right now. So we've got this pocket done. We've got a little Rita Donnelly flip and a Hermelinda tag. We're going to decorate those next time. We can decorate the front of this up a bit. We're going to put in the, the elastic here and work on the journal for this side and on the back we're going to put in our little gusseted pocket and our tablet and then see see where we go from there we might have time to decorate everything then or it might take another video hopefully we can get it all done in the next video in the meantime happy crafting take care of yourself and have a great rest of your day bye